Hello, uh, I'm Pepa from the Creative Shop from Facebook. Um, I just want to show you some, ex some good examples of good creativity in both platforms, uh, in Facebook and also in Instagram. So please enjoy it. So I, I work in the Creative Shop. We are like 20 people around the world in from different uh, backgrounds, copywriters, art directors, planners, and we take care of the advertising in the platform, inspiring the agencies and the clients. So this is kind of, uh, I'm going to show you a video of what we really do. In the creative shop, we believe that and is a beautiful thing. In fact, we're pretty much in the and business, because when you have 1.4 billion bosses who are depending on you to make their feeds a more interesting and relevant place, you take that job pretty serious. And so we always start with people, and we begin by searching out the and in them, because they aren't one-dimensional targets. They're Sarah's, and they just graduated, and moving to the big city. Or they're Simon's, and they're from London and the bloody team just lost. They're su No. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so, the, the, what? What? Um, since the beginning of Facebook, things has has been changed a lot. And with this video, I want to to show you how the newsfeed of each of you are completely different. No? So we have to take care very well because we we insert the advertising into the experience of the people, no? Like this example, for instance. So really, who's Facebook? Facebook is based on algorithm, uh, based in relevance. So as you, you can imagine, mobile has, has changed everything since the beginning. No? So we have to take care and think that uh, since the beginning of uh, Facebook, a lot of things has have happened. Like, for instance, we have, right now, we can have sequency ads. We have retargeting. We have also panoramic advertising, and I'm sure a lot of 
people have seen, have seen the 360 video from uh, Star Wars recently, and also we have the carousel. So this is our medium, this is our white canvas, and this is where we have to play. Uh, we think that we have to stop marketing at the people, and we have to start marketing for the people. Because the more we think about the people, the better stories we can tell. This is what I call happy data, and this is uh, why we have to play more. Play more, for instance, with passion. Like this piece of content made in Balasia for Lexus. Let's watch it. This piece of content is very expensive, but at least you only have to have an illustrator and play with a great idea. We should play more with real time, like this piece of content made in London last year for McDonald's. Let's watch it. With the backdrop of one of the best World Cups in decades, the bar for brands to create great content was set high. How could McDonald's make sure it wasn't the small fry in a big sea of World Cup content? What could speak to millennial fans from 37 different countries who speak almost as many languages for an entire month? Welcome to Fry Football, where the best World Cup plays of the day were made tastier with French fries in real time in a stadium made entirely of McDonald's packaging. Fry football took Europe by storm, reenacting historic plays leading up to the tournament and continuing with nearly 30 videos in 30 days. The moment the last game ended each day in Brazil, work started in London. 45 minutes to storyboard, a midnight call to lawyers for approvals, 30 minutes for props, four hours to shoot, two hours to edit, and then another sunrise wake-up call to the lawyers. From idea to finished film all in a mere eight hours, served up in 37 European countries' Facebook news feeds, on YouTube, and in match reports. Again and again for the entire month. It was an industry first, real-time video content at a scale never seen before. And for the first time ever, Facebook ads were pinpoint targeted at scale to dynamic custom clusters of people who were actually engaging with the World Cup within the previous 24 hours. The results were rather satisfying. Over 135 million unique people reached on Facebook and over 50 million total video views across the program. 
McDonald's took a bite out of Nielsen. With positive brand metrics across all seven measured countries, including France's epic 20% lift in brand favorability and Nielsen's highest ever measured lift in purchase consideration in the Netherlands. Everyone was loving it. Oh, now that's delicious. And sometimes with, with time and space, we also can create great piece of content. Maybe if we slow the time, like in this one, is beautiful or maybe we can freeze the time or maybe we just have to stop it and the results are amazing just playing with the time and the space also sometimes we have to play with another dimension we made this piece of content with Jameson whiskey and we create pieces with 3d glasses And the effect is just amazing. We don't have to forget that it, this is a three-second adjunct. So uh, sometimes we have to capture the attention from the user since the very, very beginning, like this piece made in the USA. But also we can play also with the with the volume or with the sound. I adore this piece of content. <laughs> because as you know, we have the autoplay button. So if you don't put the volume, it works perfectly. And also with the sound, it can be also fun to watch it. Well, I, I really love that we can play with the typography. So with this piece uh, of content, we play with the, with the sound also, and it works perfectly in both sides. can do only with the typography play with it. So if we take a look at an example, for, exam for, for instance, for Mercedes Benz, we can see the news feed in Facebook and the news feed in Instagram. They are completely different. Thus, we, ha we have to work in both platforms in different ways. I'm going to show you some examples from Instagram. Um, this is my news feed. Um, after Christmas, we are 400 million people, more than Twitter. And it's amazing that, well, this was the cover of the Time magazine, and it was 
taken from an image from Instagram. Uh, that is, I think is quite relevant. Also, we made our research with three same images in three different platforms. And with people say it about Instagram is that it's beautiful, stylish, artistic, and creative. So simpli simplicity matters and inspires creativity. Um, this is the community. We don't have to forget that Instagram is based on a community. These are the most relevant, relevant Instagrammers from, from Spain, some of them he from here, from Catalonia. So what we think we know, absolutely, this is an ad. This is also an ad, a loop video. But this is also an ad, a panoramic photograph. with the carousel. And also right now we have the portrait and the landscape. You can also play the video. Have you found it? And what is really important is that in Instagram, ideas matters. Always in photography, ideas have been important also in creative, in advertising, like this example, but also in Instagram. Instagram, in Instagram, the ideas are the most important thing. Let's go to an example. This looks pretty good stuff right here. This uh, is of someone's tennis lights. And also consistency. If we take a look of some news feed in Instagram, the consistency is very important. Like these examples with the brand behind it. I adore this one. It's made for Turkey, Ireland. And the third point, important ideas, consistency, and craft matters, like in photography. And when there is a brand behind it, like this one, with for McDonald's, or this one. This is one of my favorites. I will show you afterwards the making of because it's simply beautiful. If you go chasing rabbits and you know making off just with a hard dryer. It's fun. Also playing with the types is also beautiful and very well crafted.
and what the brand behind it. So, um, how old do you think this, the photographer that has made this uh, has? He's only 14 years old, and look what is he says he's done. So I think conformity kills creativity. So what we ask when we are talking about advertising in, face, in Instagram, we ask care, invest in great work and collaboration. So to end, I'm going to play a video. Thanks so much for your attention. Thanks so much for your time.